Last week, I picked out a new project and I started sewing up the lining of this corset. Just to get an idea of the fit and how it comes together and all of that good stuff. So I did all of that and two days ago, I ripped apart the lining and started cutting out the fashion fabric pieces. Here's that. The fire alarm goes off, don't worry about it. I made dinner earlier, I was making dinner earlier, and it just kept going off. And I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't like flambéing anything, I wasn't making freaking fajitas, it just is so sensitive. I am not going to lie, I'm a little nervous to cut this out because and sew with it just because I'm not used to having a proper like front and back to a fabric you know like I the last time I sewed with something that had a front and a back was it, the skull skirt that I made I want to go back over this center part one more time because it's very very persistently wanting to stay a little crinkle wrinkled and I'm not having it. Now I know from the angle that you guys have seen this, it doesn't look like I ironed it at all, but I did. Also, do not mind my slippers. I just like wearing them, okay? Okay, so I actually haven't done any of the alterations to this yet. What I am going to do, I'm actually gonna cut down the pieces for the back of this because the back I felt like was super high up on my shoulders and I didn't really love that. So I wanna have a lower back. So I'm going to actually cut this down and let the original seam allowance be what it is. That's what I decided to do in the end in order to get it to fit properly. And it actually worked pretty well, so I'm happy with that. Got this walk through here, it's very cute. I'm about to make a mistake here, and if you sew, you know what it was, and if you don't sew, you probably don't. But I'll tell you anyway, don't worry about it. We're gonna catch back up with me basting, I think, so enjoy that. I'm gonna baste all of the pieces together, so the lining pieces and the fashion fabric pieces. So the lining and the pumpkin fabric. Are gonna get stitched together so that when they go through the sewing machine they're gonna act like one piece of fabric and then I'm going to sew that all together just like I did with the lining a little bit differently because this time we're actually trying to follow the instructions which basically say that we have to attach the side and the front together and then attach the tops of the shoulders together but the back and the sides don't come together yet because you do that with the binding somehow. I'm gonna worry about that later. The only other thing that I am not going to do that the instructions tell you to do is have metal eyelets. I'm not gonna do metal eyelets in the front because I don't have a full kit to do that. You do kind of need actual tools in order to put eyelets into things. I don't have that. I'm just gonna finish them by hand. I need more practice finishing like buttonholes and, and things like this anyway. For Autumn, the goal is to get buttonholes and eyelets nice and neat and beautiful and easy and non-stressful. So, Let's go baste the pieces together, and then I'll come back to you. All right, that is one piece all together. I am going to go and do the rest of them off camera and meet you at the sewing machine. 
I told the lie. We're not going to stitch it together at the machine. Not today. I don't have the time to do it right now. So tomorrow, we're going to take all of these nicely basted things and, oh, you know what? I don't like this. This isn't good. Okay, something has happened. Something very silly has happened. I cut out, mm, and you know what? I'm gonna see this in the cutout part of this. That's gonna, so annoying. I flipped this piece when cutting it out. So I flipped it and now it's upside down on the front piece, which is not good. If it was on the side pieces, I might be able to get away with it. But this is the front, so I'm gonna have to fix this. I'm gonna have to go back in to the fabric and cut out the fabric going the correct way. Cause right now the front is upside down, which is not ideal. Okie dokie. So gotta go back in and fix that. Glad I just noticed it now. Okay, tomorrow. Gonna fix that, gonna sew, it's gonna be great. And what's even better is, it's not even gonna be that long for you guys. Now we're just gonna pin you down, ow. Don't stab yourself with pins, kids. It hurts real bad. Went to Joann's and got me my lace for this very happy about that um i also got a very fun lego set uh no one tell my mom though because i mean it wasn't very expensive but it's not exactly something that i really needed either um so nobody tell her Again, we want to try to save as much fabric in one piece as possible. I don't know why I'm trying to save these threads over here. I'm not doing anything for anybody. They don't really do anything. So, but I will save them. Nevertheless. One thing about electric cars is when they go by my house, it sounds like a small choir of children is going by. <laughs> I kind of love it. It's kind of great. I almost went on another side of music rant, but I restrained myself this time. Ugh. Kind of love it. Anyway, you remember that one time the kids are in the trees? <laughs> And the captain is going down the road with his girl and his friend. And his friend's trying to figure out where he's going to get singers from. And they can hear the choir in like the monastery or whatever. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, that's done. Are they going in the right direction? Yes! Huzzah! Okay. Now I gotta go find uh, the bias piece for the for the binding. Also, I got it wrong the other day. I got it wrong the other day. I called it Butterwick. It's not Butterwick. It's Butterwick. I don't know why I said it. Not great on my part. I have the binding now. It is done. It does actually make sense once you do it, um, but when you are in the midst of it, it is very confusing. It never tells you to sew the binding edges together, but I did because that made the most sense to me. Um, if it ends up not working, I will go back in and fix it, but it looks all right. 
I did an okay job for the most part. I messed up this part right here, but I'm not really worried about it. Um, but yeah, it's the binding is done, which is good because this was the part I was probably the most nervous about, but I think it'll make sense now. As they keep going, it'll continue. The instructions will continue to make more and more sense, which is good. I got the rest of this together and I pinned the sides. The side piece and the back aren't supposed to be sewn together. Um, they are brought together by the binding, but I didn't sew them. I just pinned them. Nice and neat. So that shouldn't be a problem. I'm just going to take the pins out. I just wanted to see how it fits real quick make sure that everything's going the way I would like it to. Oh yeah, that's much, much better. Ooh, third pin, ha. Huh. Pins are very stabby. It's coming together really nicely. I'm very, very pleased with it so far. So I have to stay stitch the armhole edge. Okay. Um. Binding apparently is my going to be my new best friend. Binding is basically what I've done to my green skirt with the braid and my red skirt with the braid. It's binding the edge so that you don't actually have to finish it. It just gets bound up and all the edges are just in there figuring themselves out, you know? Um, so that makes sense. I feel like an old man reading the paper on a Sunday, you know what I mean? Like, Gotta figure it out. Okay. I am now going to figure out the binding part of this. Um, the instructions mostly make sense at this point, but it, it, you know, it's a toss up. We'll, we'll see where we get to. Where are my scissors? I never cut with my fabric shears. But these are left handed shears, and I don't want to mess them up because they were expensive. We're gonna open it with these. I got these for Secret Santa. My friend Rin got them for me, God bless. And everyone was very concerned. They were like, why would you get her scissors, man? Cause they're awesome, that's why. Don't worry about it. Well, this is the lace that I got. I think it's very pretty. Um, it's not exactly what I would have maybe wanted, but it is very cute. And so we're gonna use this. But I got these Legos too. These are my Legos. And it comes with the anniversary Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Hermione, and Ron. And then it also comes with their little heads for when they transfigure. See? See that? It comes with their special little heads. So Hermione becomes a cat. And Ron becomes that guy, and Harry becomes that guy, and Draco is that part where he's like, I didn't know you could read. Oh yeah, Harry becomes Greg Goyle, and I did just call him Greg instead of Gregory. His name's Gregory! <laughs> and Ron becomes Vincent Crabbe. That's right, I do remember that. I want to watch Harry Potter so bad, because it's fall! I had to get this, because it's fall, okay? Don't judge me. I know that that's not what we're here to do. I know we're sewing, but I needed this, okay? No one tell me anything. Where's the sheath to my scissors? <sighs> okay. Let's go get this binding done. Woo! Gus is not having it. This is a lot of energy for him. Hi, Annie. Hey, that's my finger. Please don't take it off. Oh my God. Ow, ow, ow. Hi. Ow. Stop. He bites around my thimble. Like, I'm wearing a thimble on my finger. He snipped the thimble and then bit me right here. <laughs> so I get for harassing him. Okay, we're gonna go do the binding. It's gonna be okay. We're, we, get to, we get to iron first. Yeah, I'll go iron though. You don't have to come with me for that. I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I have figured out the binding. It took me a minute, but I did it and I don't have footage of it because it was not any type of, of uh, it wasn't entertaining, I wasn't talking, I was just staring intently at the instructions. So basically, I have to take the raw edges of the binding and the raw edges of the actual garment and put them going in the same direction. 
This is the folded edge that's been pressed. And so I'm gonna stitch this down and then flip it to the other side. And then we'll be good, I think. Welcome to Sunday. I have got all of the binding sewn down now, which it actually went pretty well. I'm kind of surprised. Um, now I have to put the side and the back together, which is concerning because I don't know exactly how I'm doing that, but we're going to do it. It's going to be great. This is what we're dealing with right now. It's weird Y shape. But we've got all this binding down here that's going to help attach the side and the back, I think. I don't know. We're going to read the instructions. This video is 90% me reading instructions to figure out what is going on. And that's okay, because I can cut out a lot of that and put in other stuff. Okay, so this does say to baste if you, for whatever reason, are following, following along with what I'm doing. This tells you to baste. I didn't do that, I just pinned it because it's the same idea and I didn't wanna waste thread just basting more stitches. This is asking you to do it as like a guide to your seams, which also isn't a bad idea. It's just not something I usually do. It's, so it's confusing me a little bit, especially because I already have these basting st stitches in here, right? Like. These white stitches, if you can see them, they're already in there, which is what you, we should be doing. Like that should be your, your seam line. So I don't know why I need to add more. That doesn't make any sense to me. So I'm not gonna do it. And I'll just live with the consequences of my actions. I'm gonna trim this part and then just lay this binding over and attach. I think that's what it's asked me to do. I'm hoping so, because that seems simple enough. Like, I can definitely do that. Yeah. A visit from the boy. No, 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 no escaping. We're, we're, we're visiting. Oh. You having a good day? Was that enough love for you? <laughs> Okay, a lot has happened. I got the binding done on the sides, so now we have a fully functional corset. Um, I now have to do the binding for the bottom and for the top, and then we're almost done. I just have to go in and do the holes for the lace, and then we're done. is the pumpkin corset all wrapped up. I am really pleased that I was able to finish a project within a week. Even though I technically did have the lining cut out already, it wouldn't have taken me that long to do. I probably could have gotten that done within the time span as well. I feel like I rushed a lot on Sunday and was trying to get it all to work and get it all finished and all of that. And it kind of shows 
the binding is there and it is functional, but it's not great. I think the back is a little bit uneven. I know I didn't show the back. There's a reason for that. Um, the eyelets are a little bit off. They're not really perfect, but that's something I want to improve on anyway, so I'm not gonna take that too hard. But overall, I'm, I'm really happy that I got something done and that it's fall themed. And Anyway, that's it for today. Um, thank you for watching. I hope it was entertaining. I hope that if you try to make this, you do much better than I did and you take your time and don't forget about the binding. It's really not that bad. I concerned myself about the binding way too much and it's not that hard. So if you're going to make this, it'll be fine. Worry more about making sure that you're reading the instructions really carefully and doing it the way you're supposed to. Because when you start messing with things, like me, that's when you start getting questionable results. I definitely still think I enjoy it and I will wear it, but it is definitely a little bit questionable because I didn't do it exactly as the instructions told me to. That is my own fault. That is not Butterick's fault. I'm not blaming Butterick. That is on me. But I hope you enjoyed this video. And next week I am not sewing, I don't think. I've been doing a lot of sewing. I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, so yeah, see you later.